Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, I want to open the phones up for everybody, but I want to speak on a topic. And that is, do you agree with me or disagree with me that the establishment's trying to cause a civil war? I mean, they're publicly saying there's going to be a war with the Tea Party veterans, gun owners, and states' rights advocates, and the John Warner Defense Authorization Act of 2007, that was under Bush, uh, says that Homeland Security is to suppress insurrection by the states and by legislatures. So they consider states that say no to a gun ban or something, or no to a federal thing on gay marriage or something, they, the feds are saying that's insurrection, and they're going to put the big red one, the army, in your state house. See, that, that's what's so frustrating. I see the battle picture here. I live this. And I try to war game stuff out where I'm wrong, and I'm just not wrong. And I mourn preemptively for myself, my family, but... I care about the general public and police officers and the military people as much as I care about myself. I have empathy. Sometimes I care about other people more than I care about myself. And it's not because I'm a hero, folks. My, my head is screwed on straight. I like inviting people over, cooking food, and watching them eat it and enjoy it. And I've run into sociopaths before that I've been so nice to. And later I learned they were sociopaths and they go, you're being nice to me because you want to get something. I've learned people that don't have Texas hospitality, and a lot, I call it Texas hospitality, everybody's got it to some extent in their area, that I grew up around people that were so good that I was bad in the family. But compared to the general public, I'm like a, a saint or something. I mean, I thought everybody was like my parents and my grandparents growing up. And it's just taken me the last five years to figure out that's not the case. But that there are also people out there just as good or better than my folks. There are a lot of good people in this world. There's also a lot of bad people. And those of you that have discernment out there and know what's really going on here, you're going to have to figure out what you're going to do for yourself. But I, um, I used to get annoyed because I wasn't cocky. I come off as an egotist. I'm not. I'm confident about people, how great Texas was and Texas culture and Texas values and Texas toughness. And I was really annoyed by it and kind of rebelled against it. I was like sick of Texas flags and sick of hearing about my family being involved on both sides of the founding of Texas and sick of people talking about how great Texas was until I got older and really learned about it all and went all over the world and the country. And man, I got to tell you now, I've been, I've been a lot of places, folks. Texas has a lot of bad in it too. A lot of half people here aren't even Texans. But I just think back about the whole world and just that combination of Texas realness. And, and some of the Texans I know that just literally boil over with goodness and with manliness and with honorableness and with just ready to kick your assness. And I'm talking about black Texans, white Texans, Hispanic Texans, you name it. I just love Texas. I don't even know why I'm getting off into that, but, you know, when stuff gets bad, you think about what you like and what you appreciate. And the older I get, all I've got is that I'm honorable. That's all I've got. It's all any of us will ever have. And that's why the system always tries to attack my honor. I never used to know what chivalry meant. It seems so silly reading history books about people that would kill you if you said they were a liar or a fraud. And now I understand why, because... Any good civilization is based on truth and justice and people valuing that. And I realize now that in such a decadent, slimy world, I do see a lot of truth and justice in the military and the police. And so I see things that I admire there. But then there's also bad in there. So then it makes it that much worse that there's such good sitting right next to such dishonor. 
That's why people get so mad at the police. We'll be right back to discuss it all. I'm going to give the phone number out. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies. Many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in online gaming than they are in their wives. A serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your super male vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. This is Scottish John for Infowars.com. I know that most of you here in this commercial already know about the New World Order, eugenics, and all the other issues covered here at Infowars. The question is, do your friends and family know? If not, then I want to know why. Oh, I know it's tough to talk about this with some people. They might call you names, or they just want to talk about sports or soap operas. I say, so what? There's a battle going on out there right now. The ammunition is information, and the soldiers are you. It's time to transform your game from passive listening to active participant. We from Scotland have had our skin in this game for the greater part of the last thousand years. And I'm still fighting. If we don't all stand up right now, we're going to lose everything. The Infowar is worldwide. Tell your friends about Infowars and let them know that Infowars doesn't print bull. It's real journalism and news backed up by documented fact. Step up and take your friends and family to Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv and PlanetInfowars.com. The truth will set them free. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Well, coming up, the story's up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. CNN says liberty movement more threatening than Al-Qaeda. The supposed Las Vegas shooter, Jared Miller, exploited the jumpstart right-wing extremist meme. Yeah, we've been telling you, they're going to flip the entire homeland security system against the American people. Meanwhile, you've got the prisoner exchange, Obama violating federal law, becoming a dictator, not getting in trouble. You've got Fast and Furious. You've got Benghazi. You've got the VA scandal. None of that matters. Two police officers being dead is the center of the universe. Not that they care about cops. When cops get killed in Chicago every few weeks, it's not even in the news. It's a, it's a blurb because it's gang related. But boy, if you can tie it to gun owners of the Tea Party, it's an epidemic. As big an epidemic as great white shark attacks. It's extremely rare. And they know that, but they don't care. It's an epidemic. It's an epidemic. We've got to stop the radicalization of the Republican Party. Yeah, that makes them win elections everywhere. And they admit in these clips, they go, it is politically expedient for the Republicans to be doing this and, and, and giving sucker to Alex Jones, sucker, aiding, aiding and abetting. They even use the term that they're aiding and abetting me. I'm aiding and abetting the election of libertarian, pro-gun, pro-family, pro-power plant, 
pro jobs, pro factories, mom and dad, the kids belong to them, Americana. We shouldn't put an ad out saying, you got kids, put them on a plane, we'll take them. So there's just planes landing with 137 kids, 129 kids, 14 kids, 80 kids. I mean, every couple hours, planes are landing with just kids on board. From Nicaragua, El Salvador, Brazil, Mexico, China, Taiwan, people are getting their kids on planes, and they're landing, and they're here, folks. And the government's giving them lawyers, and they're staying. And they're hiring illegals to work for the federal government and giving them waivers. And 30 million are here under the new garbage Obama's trying to pass. All their families can then come. I mean, we're bankrupt, folks. It'd be one thing if we got unskilled labor here and they had to, you know, work in the free market like uh, all the other poor immigrants that came here. But that's not what's happening. They're now putting water stations and emergency phones in the desert to aid the illegals coming across. I've been down to the border two months ago. There's no border patrol there. I was there last year. It was teeming with border patrol. But they weren't even stopping illegals. They were ordered to give people tickets for beer and stuff in Big Bend. But now there was no border patrol. I told you this two months ago. It's gone. The deportations have virtually stopped lawlessness it's illegal ladies and gentlemen and meanwhile they're persecuting the press they're persecuting the tea party because the tea party is the threat folks the tea party isn't perfect but that's why i fully thrown in with the tea party and a move in the republican party to take it over because we're going to lose everything the democrats run by the globalist have a plan with the third world to get the votes they need to checkmate using our republic and our voting system, our democracy, our limited democracy, to checkmate in the country right now. And who are they then attacking full scale Infowars.com? I mean, I've got CNN saying I'm behind the shooting, basically. I've got London Guardian. I'm in the first paragraph. Another CNN, Washington Post, raw story. Just, I mean, thousands of articles, ladies and gentlemen, thousands. You type Alex Jones into Google News, click it. There's thousands of articles today, thousands attacking me. And Darren McBreen was talking about his personal Facebook. I ought to try to get him on air. And, and this buddy he's known forever. He said his buddy he's known since college that his head lives, its habitat is Obama's rear end. To put it nicely, he lives in Obama's rear end. I mean, I'm sorry to use that term. It's the only way to describe it in times like these. And he, 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 he likes to taunt him every once in a while. You know, he believes he's powerful and successful because he loves Obama. Even as Obama betrays everybody and funds Al-Qaeda and runs false flags and gets caught and runs Benghazi and, 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 and runs Fast and Furious. I was like, man, you better get out of InfoWars real quick. It's going down, man. Yeah, rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. I'm here. We're bigger than ever. But I don't want to be big. I'd rather back the globalist off and this show recede off into the sunset. There'd still be plenty of issues to cover. But it wouldn't be as hot and as powerful and as, and as scary as it is. This show is scary. Because we're a mirror for MSNBC and Media Matters and the White House to look at who you are. You guys have gone through this to where now you've had multiple White House press secretaries, Gibbs and Carney and others, and a bunch of others. Every week I see a new clip where they get up on MSNBC or CNN and go, yeah, we lie to people. What's the big deal? We need to lie to you. And that's what it is. I'm a heretic. I'm unbowed, as that host said last hour from MSNBC when we played the clip. What's her name again? Alice Wagner. She goes, he is unbowed. And she looks at the camera and puts her hand out and does a motion of me falling. He's unbowed. That's right, witch. I don't believe known certified liars that say the Klan founded the NRA when it's the opposite. I've heard that come out of your fat mouth. I don't believe certified frauds who've been caught lying thousands.